Oh, where are we? We're base camp. Can't believe it. Yeah, we made it. It's been an amazing journey. It started over a year ago, and finally it's, we're here at the top. Mind you, we still have to get down. But hey, this is such a great feeling, getting everybody up here together. Uh, we're thrilled, and I think uh, <laughs> it's certainly extreme fundraising, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, couldn't you do something simpler? Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. Like, I'm sure folks are thinking, could you not just have had a golf tournament? You know, but I have to take my hats off to all the people that have participated because this has not been easy, but everybody's just been so supportive of one another and had each other's back along the way. And I honestly think we'll all walk, walk away from here lifelong friends. So, so much has come out of this. So we're going from here to Labuche, and when I say here, uh, the wonderful gentleman, Mike Hamill, who's a great, uh, famous expedition leader, uh, allowed us, accommodated us here for a wonderful lunch, and some friends left on the helicopter, we said goodbye to them, so now we're a group of 14. So we're from 23 to 14, those folks are out of here safely, and we're going to just track down and keep going until we reach Labuche. And then... We're going to take it easy, and then we're going to head down some more tomorrow. So we've got, we're doing a lot of down, but it's up and down. They don't tell you that. You go up to go down. You go up to go down. So don't think we're just going to be running down a hill. But it's all good. And you know what? It's been such an amazing experience today to see everybody so excited to have reached base camp. You know what? We, we did it, and it's so, so amazing. And I hope that the people at home realize that how extreme this expedition was for us and also that they would like to support us and help us reach our fundraising goal. The west shoulder of Everest, which is the sort of pyramid or ten pikes, the slow one, and then you've got the west ridge going up to the summit of Everest. You know, a few today, you know, this group, after what actually started more than nine months ago, today we finally reached our goal. Um, not quite our destination yet, we reached our goal. Our goal was... Everest Base Camp, and we're standing right in the middle of it right now. Incredibly proud of this group. Our destination, as with any high altitude climbing, is to get home. So right now we've reached our goal, and the group is in an incredible mental position right now. Um, you know, I think what's been incredibly empowering from the group is everybody wanted to find a way out of their comfort zone. Hopefully never to find their way back, or at least to establish a new baseline. And they did. You know, they reached somewhere that I'm going to guess less than half percent of a half percent of the world will ever see, ever touch, maybe even never think about. So the group supported each other and, you know, in one of my other worlds, I, I, I work a lot with Olympians and people always think that it's about their strength or it's about their skills. And although those things matter, it's about their mental capacity to deal with things when they get hard, things when they get difficult. And this group they're all Olympians right now in the context of what we're doing. The mental capacity to push through what has to be probably the hardest thing anybody has ever done is absolutely incredible. I think part of the experience was being with the team, the team that we had started out with and traveled with and trekked with, and then to enter it all together and to see an avalanche just before we entered it, that was pretty cool. Oh, the Sherpa team and everybody has been so wonderful and attentive and supportive. It just felt like we were all together doing something very special. So it was amazing. Let's say you, Peter, what's coming up the valley here? Well, we've got this sparkling, gorgeous morning as we head for base camp, but right behind us is rising cloud out of the valley. And I think it's going to envelop the, the base camp, but hopefully it, it'll lift as time goes on. I guess the purpose of the trip was to raise money for our hybrid OR, and a group of people decided to do that trip, um, raise the money by trekking to Everest Base Camp. And so walking into base camp, so this is the hardest thing I've ever done mentally and physically in my entire life, and I think the whole team would tell you the same thing. Um, and so when we were walking into base camp, the sense of accomplishment in such low oxygen um, was amazing, but not, it, it, no, it was no longer a personal accomplishment, but a team accomplishment. We became such a family on the way up and that you just all wanted to do it together and we had each other's backs and to sort of walk in there as a team uh, with a single purpose of 
you know, doing something for the hospital and such a, an extreme personal challenge is beyond words. Uh, it was very emotional and um, really hard to describe other than you just wanted to lay down and cry. <laughs> um, it felt so good to be there. Hey man, want to climb some stairs? No, thank you. <laughs> well, okay, well at least they're down. So, Clint, fresh out of base camp, how yeah, do you feel? Tired. It's probably one of the hardest things I had to do, and I think uh, I underestimated the trek into base camp and especially out. And so, literally, it took everything out of me to um, to get in and out of base camp, and then while trying to still enjoy the experience, it was hard not to feel tired and exhausted, and at the same time, be like, "Oh my God, I made it!" But uh, it certainly was a great experience. Before. I don't even when we were getting um, our debriefs about the trek and what we would experience. I don't think anybody truly understood the physicality of uh, the trek itself and the and the changing landscape, changing temperature, the terrain. Um, I, I don't think anybody was truly f mentally prepared for experiencing what they did. But I think through it all, once you get there and you achieve it, you're like, okay, it was well worth it. And, and, as we see truckers pass by us and they're, you know, we, we, want, we often wonder, oh my God, look at their faces. He looks so tired and exhausted. And we say, and we try to cheer them on and say, you know what? It's well worth the experience, whatever pain you're going through, whatever doubt at the end of the day, you know, to, to see it and to, to be part of that experience is well worth the, the travel. Uh, the team at the foundation, what they've done to support us back home along the way is incredible. But I don't think there could be enough said about Alan and beyond the fact that he's 24-7, always working, he has been an absolute source of energy, of power, of humor. When somebody might feel like they're about to hit a down moment, Alan seems to always be there with that special energy and that special motivation to keep this group going. So it's been an incredible support system and infrastructure from the foundation, but I think this entire group feels a very special bond with Alan. Um, and Alan is one of the absolute main reasons that we got to this goal, that we succeeded getting to base camp. Team!